Hyundai Le Fil Rouge concept shows the future of brand's design. At this year's Geneva Motor Show, Hyundai revealed a concept called the Le Fil Rouge, which in English means the common thread. Though the car has an unusual name, it's important for the Hyundai brand because this car represents the future of the company's design. Elements found on this concept will be applied to all future Hyundais, be they sedans, hatchbacks or crossovers, which also partly explains the car's name. Hyundai says the name also comes from how the car builds on Hyundai's past design and is a reinterpretation of its 1974 coupe concept. We're not so sure about that last part. But we think the Le Fil Rouge is a mighty handsome sedan, and its future production cars should look pretty good. Aside from a common thread of design, Hyundai says the car's theme is sensuous sportiness. That seems to translate into a low slung, curvy, coupe like sedan form. At the front, the nose is very low, and it's dominated by a massive version of Hyundai's corporate cascade grille. It's actually a bit reminiscent of the recent Regunda sedan. It appears that the grille contains lighting elements all throughout. It should be easy to translate this design into conventional radiator grills, huge lights, or simple, blocked-off styling motifs for electric vehicles. This low, wide grille leads into a long hood and front fenders with classic rear-drive proportions. The hood has two large creases in the middle that lend some aggression to the swoopy shape and there are two bright metal accent lines that run up the sides and loop up and around the windows back toward the hood. Along the side, we find a bold character line that lines up with the end of the headlight. It trails back along the car and merges with the rear panel that would likely contain the taillights. The roof also has a bit of a fast back look, ending at the trunk lid. It also contains a rear window with a double bubble shape. It's an elegant organic car that does some cool things with lines and curves. It will be interesting to see how it translates to production cars.